Hello, Internet. Steve Tassi, curator at Snakes and Lattes. I'm here at our College Street location talking to game designer and development consultant Daryl Andrews. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Daryl, he is a designer of such games as uh, The Walled City and uh, Fantasy Fantasy Baseball, as well as the new Fantasy Fantasy Football. That's right. Do you have any other Fantasy Fantasy games coming along? Yeah, we actually we have a third in the series. It's going to be hockey. All right. And we even have the NHL license for that. Uh, and you are now recently uh, a development consultant for IDW Games. That's right. Yeah, just about six months now. Excellent. OK, so now. Um, IDW has recently done uh, some Godfather games, some yeah. Back to the Future games, yeah. uh, of course Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Kevin Wilson designed one, and oh. you've got one too, right? I do, I have an upcoming one, TMT Showdown. All right. So that, that one's going to be two to six players, so in that way it's kind of similar to Kevin's game, but it's a quick, light uh, game where you can either play it on the team of the Turtles, or you can play uh, with Rock, uh, Rocksteady and Bebop. So, licensed games is a direction that IDW is taking. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, well, uh, a lot of people know IDW for their comics. Uh, so, they're like the fourth biggest comic book company in the world, but they're number one uh, when it comes to licensed comics. So, they do a lot of really well known, like Turtles or X Files uh, comics, and so they thought they would leverage those relationships that they already have and, say, and make games in that world. So, they're trying to do about 50 50 licensed games and then original games, uh, original IPs. And, uh, and so there's that balancing act of, of finding great designers to work in licenses. Like you mentioned, Kevin and Rob. Rob has a great game coming up uh, in Lock and Key, which is uh, one of- That's Rob Davio. Rob Davio, yeah. So uh, really excited about that. I'm in development with that game right now, doing a lot of playtesting. It's fantastic. Uh, so it's, it's fun to kind of get to play in both worlds. Cool. Uh, are there any other exciting licenses that IDW has that you're maybe hoping for a game to come down the pipe, or, or there is something in yeah. the pipe? Yeah. Well, we just announced actually at Gamma just recently that we're doing an Atari series. So we have right, Centipede and Missile Command and uh, Asteroid, and we have a couple more that we're not talking about yet. But right now we have five Secret stuff. in development, and then the idea or hope is, as long as they keep doing well, doing more and more Atari games. Does one of the ones you can't talk about rhyme with schmig schmug? No comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now um, you you're a lifelong gamer like me. You've yes. been playing since you were a kid. Uh, what what games? really got you into the, the idea of designing your own stuff. For sure, for sure. I mean, early on I got to play games like Scotland Yard and so, saw there was a little bit of difference out there, Risk coming out with House Rules, but it was really like the aha moments when getting to play Settlers of Catan or Puerto Rico that I started to see games could be really different. Um, and then I got hooked, uh, especially uh, Belfort. Um, was a game designed by the Bamboozle Brothers, mm -hmm. uh, Sen Fung Lim and Jay Cormier. Yeah. And, and I found out that Sen lived in my same city. So I looked him up and I said, hey, we should play games together. I really like your game Belfort. And uh, from that, then he got me to come over and play test stuff. And that got me hooked on designing and testing games. All right, that's great. Uh, so uh, your work with IDW, uh, what do you do? What is a consultant? What, what's your job? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I wear kind of a few hats, but the main responsibility for me is the development. So once a game is signed, then I'll play test it and work with the designer and try to just tighten up a few things, make sure the game's not broken in any ways. Um, and then once it's kind of mechanically sound, then I hand it off to other team members in, at IDW. But the other thing I do is uh, I often am at shows, so IDW asks me to check out uh, prototypes. If I'm gonna work on helping develop them, then I should probably have a little say on you know which games I think are great. And so you're sort of a talent scout. I, I try to find great games out there, and so I'll play, play games and then tell them what I think. Sometimes they'll find other stuff without me, and sometimes I'll find something that I think's great, but maybe they don't want to go for it, but the idea is while I'm at shows or even while I'm at a place like Snakes, um, check out prototypes and, and then recommend uh, to IDW. That's right, you come to our game designers night. Absolutely, so monthly, I, and I've been coming since the beginning even for myself. Steven and I, we tested our very first game here. and Steven met, being? Steven Sauer, so right. yeah, the co-designer of The Wall City. 
And actually, he has an upcoming game that IDW is doing called uh, Perlock Holmes. So uh, that's uh, you know the cat detective with lots of bad cat puns. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, looking forward to seeing that here. But all those games we. We tested here at Snakes and Lattes Designer Nights. Yeah, uh, Snakes and Lattes Designer Nights are held on the third Monday of every month, uh, unless that's a holiday Monday, in which case we move it a week. And if you have a prototype that you would like to try out, or uh, if you just want to see some cool prototypes that are in development, you should come on down. Uh, if you're in the Toronto area, give it a shot. Uh, you never know, you might see the next big thing that's about to get published. Uh, you've. You have been with us since the beginning yeah. uh, of those designer nights. At the beginning, there's only a handful of us, and it's amazing to see how much it's grown. Uh, the quality and the amount of people that come out, uh, the feedback, like we're all learning how to you know, critique each other better and give you know, good feedback on how to make games better. So I find it a great, uh, worthwhile time to, to drive in and test my games, and also I love seeing other people's games. So it's, we have a really great community that's blossoming up in the area. Yeah, it's it's wonderful to see stuff that we get to see it in its prototype stages, and then suddenly it's hitting the shelves and yeah. getting mentioned by Geek and Sundry and, and all sorts of other places. Games like uh, Lanterns. Yeah. Uh, yeah, at Walled City. Uh, did you do any testing for your fantasy leagues? Yeah, we us? did. We did fantasy fantasy baseball here. We did. Uh, Stephen and I have an upcoming game, Tower of London, with WizKids. We tested that here. Yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, game artists of Canada, especially the, the Toronto area. So like Josh Capel mm -hmm. or Daniel Rocky or Chris Christopher Chung. Uh, a lot of us test our games here, so we're, we have a lot to say thanks to Snakes for that. And we are, we're glad to have you, and uh, we are, we're pleased to be able to provide a venue for that sort of development. Now, you go to shows as well, that's part of the job. Yes. What shows are you going to be at this year? Yeah, so I'll be at uh, Geekway to the West in St. Louis, I'll be at Origins in Columbus, I'll be at Gen Con in Indianapolis, uh, Dice Tower in Orlando, uh, BGGCon uh, in Dallas, and Essen in Germany. All right. So if you are a designer and you're going to be at any of those shows, look for this man. Uh, if you're not going to be at any of these shows, uh, people can still get in touch with you and, uh, and pitch their ideas to you. So uh, they can contact you how? Yeah, I mean, the best way is probably just uh, initially through Twitter or Facebook. You can find me, um, or you can email me, or email IDW, and they're going to point you to me. Yeah. So uh, we're putting uh, his contact information up on the screen. You are uh, Daryl Mandrews on Twitter. That's right. Uh, and yeah, so if you've got something that you think IDW might be interested in, uh, get in touch with Daryl. Uh, even if it's not the right game for IDW, uh, you can you know suggest other companies yeah. that might be interested. I mean, as well. even I, just giving feedback. Uh, it's great just getting to play people's games and, and you're trying to get it in front of other people to improve your game anyway. So it's always mm -hmm. healthy to, to try to pitch your games and learn from the, those experiences. Now, you work a lot with Steven Sauer. You've worked on a number of games with him. Are there other designers that you work in conjunction with the, yeah. the, as a team? What yeah, so I'm, I actually try to do a lot of co-design. So uh, Jonathan Gilmore and I have a few games that are coming up. That's Jonathan uh, Gilmore of Dead of Winter. Yeah. Um, Adrian Adamskew. We have a couple games so far coming out. So he did uh, the Turtles game with me. He did Mine All Mines and a few others that are coming. Um, he did Sagrada with me with uh, Floodgate. Um, and What's then, that one about? Uh, yeah, so uh, Sagrada is uh, where you're making stained glass windows out of dice. Cool. Uh, and that's with uh, Floodgate. Uh, it's coming out, hopefully delivering this week. Um, and uh, Erica Boyaris, a uh, new designer out of Toronto actually, met through Snakes and Lattes Designer Nights. Uh, so we have a few designs as well, so um, just trying to work with different people, learn from the experience. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, one last question, then I'm yep. going to let you go, I know you got a busy night ahead of you. Uh, if there was one IP uh, of any, like Blue Sky this, any IP that you would love to be involved in making a game for, what would it be? I mean, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, that was a pretty huge life goal. I'll, I'll admit, I, I geeked out pretty huge uh, for that. Um, and you also did uh, Out of Time, the Back to the Future yeah, game. Yeah, another I, big IP. I uh, really geeked out over getting to do something in Back to the Future. Oh, man, there's a, there's a lot of great titles out there. Um, 
Well, I keep begging uh, for Transformers. Mm -hmm. I think that would be really cool to go like old school cartoon Transformers because IDW does the Transformer comics. But right. I think Hasbro's gonna keep keep that one tight lipped. Yeah, probably. Put it on nothing but their standard, <laughs> you know, risk and yeah. Stratego stuff. But but I dream of it would be really cool to have a Transformers strategy game. That would be cool. All right. Well, thanks for talking with us. Thank you. And uh, Autobots, roll out. Roll out. Yeah, I have always been befuddled by people who are in fantasy sports leagues and they don't have, you know, orcs and goblins on their teams. If, if you don't have an owlbear on your fantasy fantasy sports team, you don't understand what fantasy is. We're working on it.